All right, let's take a look at number three here. Uh, we're going to get the probability of this student getting an IQ score of 120 based on the other data, and then use that to figure out what the z-score is, and uh, use the technology to that instead of a table. So probability distribution blot, when to, when to view the probability. So uh, mean of 100, standard deviation of 15. Let's go look at the shaded area part. And so uh, somewhere in the right tail is where this uh, value of 120 would be found. And so uh, 0.09121, that would be the probability um, area under the curve uh, for this student's score. And so now if we take that and go right back, and instead of using that same data, let's go to the standard normal curve, which has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. And let's find the probability uh, that we had over here, the point 09121. And we get a z-score of 1.33 associated with um, that uh, probability. Now let's see what StatCrunch has to say. And so we're going to use that normal calculator again. And we'll put in 100, 15, and we'll want to score 120. We'll go to the right. There you go. You see that 0.09121. Now I'm going to copy this value so that I have its full precision. And now we're going to create a standard normal curve. And what's the probability? I take that back here, put it in the wrong box. There we go. Now I get my position uh, 1.33, which was the same thing that we got um, in the Minitab version, and we get it here again in StatCrunch.